Hey everyone, welcome to our first webinar of 2024. Um, we wanted to start the year off with a bang by introducing our brand new feature, which is called Sequences. Um, so I know a few of you might have got your hands on it already, uh, but we wanted to make this webinar to go over what the product team have been lovingly working on over the past few months. So Franz, our product manager, and I will be going over the feature which is called Sequences. Uh, Franz will be giving you an overview and I will be giving you some use case ideas. Right, so let's get into it. Franz, over to you to go over the feature in more detail. Thank you, Melita. Yes, so Sequences. This is a great functionality for all those people that want their bot, their assistant, their digital assistant to proactively reach out to people over a certain period of time. Um, think, for example, onboarding or compliance or training of any kind. Uh, you may want your bot to reach out to people proactively without really you doing anything else other than uh, setting up the sequence up front. So in this case, um, I've set up, for example, an onboarding assistant that I've called Olly uh, and connected it to Workplace. I could have connected it to Teams or Slack. Um, the functionality works in exactly the same way. Uh, and yes, I wanted to just demonstrate the power of the creation of uh, a sequence that makes sense for someone that has just joined an organization. Um, so yes, uh, if I'm, whatever I am, in the CMS and the message build, I've already created a few messages for, for this uh, bot. If I click on sequences, bear in mind when you will see this, um, this webinar, maybe the beta label will not be here anymore. Uh, it's still technically in beta, but uh, we have completed the functionality. We're quite happy, we're quite proud about where it is right now in terms of uh, features and functionalities. Um, so yes, I've, cl I've clicked sequences, uh, I now, I'm seeing this call to action button uh, that calls me to create my first sequence. So I'm going to just do that. And um, the bot will ask me to confirm if my time zone is Europe, London, which it is. So I'm going to save and continue. And this opens the sequence editor. Building a sequence, I would say that is a four steps process. You give a sequence a name. Then you set the days that you want a sequence message to go to be able to go out. Uh, by default, this is set on Monday to Friday. You can, if you are a 24-7 uh, business, you can set up all the other days. But uh, by default, we, we have put like Monday to Friday as selected days and uh, Saturday and Sunday as inactive days. So what this means is that if uh, a message runs on a Friday, and then the second message is a one day delay. It will not go out to the to the user on a Saturday and not on a Sunday, but on, on the first day that is um, a valid day, which is in this case a Monday. Um, yeah, just to avoid that the bot reaches out to people on a weekend and sets up that wrong assumption that people need to be um, need to be reachable uh, of their you know working hours. Then the third step is to create a segment. So the segment is basically the bucket of people that will receive these messages once they get added to them or once they opt in to that particular segment. I have already created a segment here on bodies. If you did, if you hadn't created it, you can create it from just from here. So that's no problem at all. I just wanted to be ready for this demo. Um, and now on the left hand side, you can see that there's already a preview timeline example. So you will now see that creating a sequence is really a matter of setting up messages and gaps between each couple of messages. Um, the timeline previewer here will basically create an example of a timeline based on when a, us when a user can be added to a segment. Uh, this is an onboarding assistant, so I am going to pick a Monday morning for convenience. Let's just go with January 2024 and with the 8th of Jan at 9.30. So at this point, I am assuming that someone will join a company on Monday 8th of January and 
at 9.30, they will receive a broadcast. Then we'll add them to this sequence of messages. Um, so the broadcast will be something like, welcome to the company. Uh, I'm only your, onboard, your virtual onboarding assistant and that kind of stuff. Uh, but this will be the preview of the sequence that they will receive. And obviously there's no preview here because there's no message that we have set up. Now let's start setting up the messages. Um, first day, let's just go with 30 minutes, for example, after they join the, um, the segment. Third minute, we want to give uh, a new employee a tour of their virtual office, all the tools, all the stuff that um, the company uses internally. And I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save this change. So step one of a sequence, 30 minutes after joining the segment on bodies, the message your virtual office will proactively be sent by the bot to the new employee. Uh, and as you can see here on the preview example, uh, if someone joins the company on the 8th of January 2024 at 9.30 a.m., if they receive that broadcast at 9.30, at 10 a.m., they will get the virtual office message. If the broadcast was sent at 1 p.m., as you can see, the timeline changes here immediately. The uh, message will be received by the bot user at 1.30 p.m. So let's just go with, uh, you know, this, a scenario that is quite typical. So someone receives the, this, you know, broadcast at 9.30 and, uh, and at 10 a.m. they will receive the your virtual office message. Um, let's just say that I, as a manager, want to send a friendly message at the end of the first day. So I'm gonna select end of first day, which I already created before. Um, and I want this to go at the end of the first day, sometime at the end of the first day, which could be potentially at 5 p.m. if someone works nine to six, for example. So I'm going to give seven hours of gap which means that after your virtual office at 5 p.m. of the same day, I will be, I will send this message I, as a bot. Uh, so the bot will send the message and the bot user, the new employee will, will receive it on the first day. Then I've set a message, meet our leadership team, that I want my bot user to receive at the beginning of their second day which means that i have to do some math here um 5 p.m i want people to receive this on the next day maybe still at 10 a.m i will so if i set like 12 hours it would be 5 a.m 12 plus 5 70 hours save changes save changes and then yes 10 a.m um the the, um, the bot user, the new employee will receive our leadership team. And then I want an end of second day message to be sent at the end of the day. So again, another seven hours and save. You can see that here the step from gray turns into blue, which means that the step is completed, it has both a delay and a um, and a message. So where are we here? On a Monday, someone joins, uh, they receive the broadcast, adding them to the segment at 9.30, 10 a.m. they receive the first message, 5 p.m. and the first day survey or whatever the, or whatever you want to send. At 10 a.m. next next day, meet our leadership team. At seven, uh, seven hours later, 5 p.m. and the second day. And now maybe we want to send um, a friendly message at the end of the first week which means that from Tuesday, let's go with end of first week and set like four days. This goes to Monday, I want it to Friday, so I'm gonna need to set three days. My mistake there, but this is the beauty of the timeline previewer. It tells me, it flags if I made a mistake in my timeline. So three days, Friday, um, 
12th of January, 5 p.m. end of first week. Um, if I want to send a message now, the next day, let's go with, again, 17 hours, sorry, not days, but hours. Just like in this gap, I want to send like our system at the beginning systems at the beginning of the next week. Save changes. As you can see, this create this gap from mom to from Friday to Monday. Because we have instructed the sequence to consider only Monday to Friday as, as valid sequence days. If I select a Saturday also, I will get that message on a Saturday, but if we, are, if we are assuming that Monday to Friday people are working and Saturday and Sunday is the weekend so they don't work, I can, you know, uh, remove that the day that I don't want messages to be sent out. And the uh, 17-hour gap from Friday 5 p.m. will be pushed directly to Monday at 10 a.m. So this is beautiful because it makes people not, you know, especially with a, with a, with a new employee, uh, if they receive a message and they accidentally see it on a Saturday, they may have that assumption that the the organization, the business is expecting them to react on a, on a weekend, which probably is not something that um, a manager wants. And then we can, at this point, set a message, for example, for the end of the second week, which I want to be sent at some point around Friday, end of day, so I will go with four days, save, save changes, and it goes on Friday, end of second week, it matches, but this is 10 a.m., so I will edit the delay, I will add seven hours. Save changes, and now this is an end of second week, for example, survey going out to the user at the at 5 p.m. on the Friday. Um, you may be asking at this point, why not just to set the dates here in the steps? Because this really depends on when people join the company. Um, if someone joins the company on Monday, 15th of July, 2024, the timeline will just update based on the delays that you set. So this sequence is really time agnostic in a way, uh, or opting time ag agnostic. Um, it just works whenever whenever people join the, the segment. And this timeline previewer here on the right-hand side allows you to, to, to really make sense of the gaps that you are including here and to make sure that messages go out at the right um, time. Finally, uh, I'll just leave Monday 15th of July 2024 because it doesn't really matter for the purpose of building the sequence right now for me, but it will still, you know, make sense, you know, in the world of you wanting to create that uh, virtual uh, virtual assistant for onboarding that makes sense. At this point, we want probably to book a 90-day survey, which we probably want sometime three months after the 15th of July, which would be 15th of September. No, sorry, October. So as I edit, I will add 12 months, sorry, 12 weeks, save changes. It goes to the 18th of October, which kind of makes sense. Uh, but it will land on a Friday. If someone starts on a Monday, it will land on a Friday because the gap is from the Previous message, Friday, 18 October, 2024, 4 p.m. Maybe I don't want this survey to go out at 4 p.m. on a Friday. So I will add 17 hours, just like I did here. I will save it and it will go out on a Monday morning at 9 a.m. And maybe, again, I don't want the, the survey to go out on a Monday morning at 9 a.m. So I can add easily another three hours or four. So 21 hours. Save changes. So that the 90-day survey goes sometime after three months at 1 p.m. on a Monday. Now, if someone joins the company 
any Monday, the sequence will still be valid. If someone joins the company on a Thursday, obviously the gaps will take into account the various, you know, Saturday and Sunday that are not really, um, really the, the, the dates that are valid for the sequence. So for example, someone joins the company on Thursday, end of, um, and the first week will be sent on a Monday. But a business that operates like that potentially uh, may have people working 24 seven. So Saturday and Sunday would be valid days as well. So you will have this timeline uh, ignoring the, the that there are days that uh, are not valid because all the, all of them are valid. So the timeline will be will look like this. So uh, let's revert to a Monday just to make it um, just to make it more typical as a typical scenario. So I've got my 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 regular um, sequence starting on a Monday 9:30 Saturday and Sunday ignored and with all the steps in here. Um, I am happy. I can give it a name, and this is why the push life button here was not was was grayed out. Uh, it's not possible to 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 send like to push live a sequence that doesn't have a name. So we're gonna give it a name like sequence for onboarding, something very simple. Push live, yes, push live. So now my sequence is live. Uh, active people zero because no one opted into the segment or was added to the segment yet. I have a preview here uh, that gives me the overview of a, a sequence: so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, with all the gaps and the the, the the delays that make the sequence. I can cancel it. Once cancelled, cannot be um, cannot be made live again. Uh, and then I've got a report here that is now empty i'm just gonna open it uh to show you that it just has like time zone uh the time zone selected here so at this point in time time zone was set europe london but once people get added to the segment you will see here whether the messages are scheduled for a particular point in time so let's just do that um I have set a welcome message at uh, this welcome message here with add to segment. I am going to broadcast to myself. So send a broadcast, quit a broadcast, send and continue. Uh, I will send your welcome message to a workplace group select my open forum uh, this is just a test group that I've got to 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 get messages um, I'm gonna set, this set to now I'm going to select an attribute first name equals to France so that I'm the only one that received the message so set to now schedule and now once it's sent, gathering list of people, I'm gonna refresh again, sending, refresh, sent. Right now it has, oh, it has completed the process. So it's been sent to one, me, uh, it's completed. Now, if I go to the sequence page, I will see that this there's one active person in this sequence and uh, a report was um, was generated. It's been generated, but I can click it. I will open the 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 report, and you will see that all these messages have been scheduled for these times and. Uh, the, the more people get added to this to the sequence the more people you will you will see in this report and you will be able to see who received what and where they are in the sequence obviously 
if you are also collecting attributes, um, you will be able to do then whatever analysis you need, uh, you leveraging the content of this re CSV report and the content of the data that you can download from the platform in a way that you're probably already familiar with. So in this case, I've got no data, no attribute because this is a, it's a fresh bot, but um, if I had like custom attributes that I created, I can just do cross analysis. I can just, um, yes, I can, I can just basically see where people are in their onboarding process or in whatever process that you set for your, um, for your sequence. Uh, so thank you very much and back to you, Mel. Thanks, Franz. That was a really, really interesting and helpful overview on the new feature. Um, so I'm now going to share my screen and I'm going to go over some use cases that make the most out of sequences. So here on my screen, I have got a compliance companion. A uh, compliance companion's job is to share InfoSec training, um, to um, highlight if there's any InfoSec issues, and to also um, get information off users if they want to use new, new software um, and get it on the approved software list. So I'm actually going to create a sequence that goes over training, which tells the user about phishing. So I'm going to call my sequence name phishing. So I know that it's phishing training. And then I'm going to select my days. Um, I'm going to keep it to the weekdays because I don't think people want to know about phishing on the weekends. Um, I might be proven wrong, but for this one, I'm going to stick to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Next up, I am going to create my segment, which I've got already here, which is called phishing training. And then I'm going to add my step one. So I've broken down my training into um, a video, an intro, a video, um, a quiz, which is connected to the video, and then a check-in, which comes in six weeks later. So let's add in our step one. And I want my step one to go out a day after the person has been enrolled into the training program by a segment. So I'm gonna click on the day and put one and then save changes. And then I am going to pick my first message from the drop down, which is the you have been signed up. So this message will tell the user that they've been signed up for this phishing training and it will give them an idea of what to expect in the next few weeks in terms of the messages they'll be receiving from the bot. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to save my changes. I'm then going to add my step two, which is the training video itself. I want this to go out like a week later. So let's put seven days. and then save changes. And then I'm gonna choose my training video from the drop down. So you can see here, I've got my watch video message here, and this watch video uh, message will contain a training video, and then it will contain a button which will connect the user to the quiz, and then they can just click through the quiz um, and see how they do in terms of what they've learned. So let's choose watch video here, and save changes. Great, last but not least, I wanna do a check-in message. I wanna make sure that the user has retained all the information that they learned from the video six weeks later. So we're gonna click on the delay here and click edit, and I'm gonna choose six weeks. I think that's a good amount of time to check if someone has retained information. I'm gonna save my changes, and then I am gonna choose my six week check-in from the dropdown. And there we go, we'll save changes. And now we've got a nice nifty little training on a nice subject matter, uh, which takes like three steps. Um, and I feel like it's a really good way of telling the user what to expect from the training and then them sending the, the video and the quiz all together so they can um, see how they do and see um, how their knowledge is when it comes to phishing. And then step three, which I think is really important for retaining information, especially when it comes to information security, which is the check-in. So in that check-in, if you send them a quiz and they don't do as well as they should have, you can send them another uh, ping later on uh, to check in and see if they can do any better a second time round. Great, so that is one use case. Let's move on over to our next one. So this bot functions how a normal one in our template library would. People are given the opportunity to vote for a colleague and um, share why they think this colleague has really helped them out and give their appreciation for all the work that they've done. So I'm actually gonna set up a scheme here called the Employee Appreciation Week. So this is where we will reward employees with a nice gift every day for a week. So I'm gonna set up a broadcast on the Friday before the week to go out at nine o'clock in the morning. 
Um, and this will just um, opt people into the segment and then tell people what to expect for the week uh, coming up. Now that I've set up this broadcast and it's going to go out on the 5th of January 2024 at 9 a.m., I can head on over to my sequences page here and start setting up my sequence for the employee appreciation week itself. So I've named my uh, sequence and I've also selected my dates, which would be a weekday. And I have created my segment, which was already in the broadcasted message that went out on the Friday. Next up, I'm going to choose my first step. So I want this to go out a day later because the broadcast has gone out on Friday and I want it to go out for the Monday. And because we've excluded Saturday and Sunday, it would make sense for it to be a day later. So I'm going to put one day here in my edit delay section. And then I'm going to choose my day one message, which is just here. I'm going to click changes and um, save changes. And then we'll see in our little preview timeline example that I can see exactly when my employee appreciation week day one message is going to go out. So my employees will receive a lovely message, which includes a perk, which uh, tells them where to get their perk. So it could be like a massage. It could be like a free cupcake. It could be um, some free training. Um, it's totally up to you how you'd want to lay that out. So I'm now just going to go through and pretty much repeat the steps all for those five days. So every single delay is going to be one day. And then I'm just going to choose my message, which in this case would be day two. And keep adding your steps until you end up with five steps overall. Um, and as we're adding these messages in, if you just keep an eye on the preview timeline, we'll see that we're getting a real good idea of when these messages are going to go out. So you don't have any second guessing in terms of when people are going to receive those messages. You've got a really clear idea how your campaign is going to work and the bot will stick to those timelines based on the original date that you pick. So there we have it. We have got our five days of employee perks and it's just a nice little way for employees to get pinged every morning at 9 a.m. that they can expect a little treat from their employers. Okay, so those are two examples of how you could use sequences within your bots. Um, there's such a vast array of way of using them for any use case. Um, so if you had any more ideas, feel free to reach out to your customer success manager and ask them for some inspiration. Um, we'll be happy to talk and help. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this webinar and that you feel much more confident with using sequences. Um, as a team, we're really, really happy with this feature. It's one of our bigger feature that we've launched in the last few years um, and we just think it's just going to do a world of difference um, and it's a massive upgrade from drip campaigns which it was placing so please let us know what you think we help, uh, welcome any questions any feedback um, and any compliments of course um, so yeah good luck with building and I hope to see more sequences on the platform soon thanks